Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're taking a look at Cyber City, a brand new cyberpunk themed NFT game that is coming soon. It has its NFT drop live at the moment, so you can pick up some of these characters. And we're going to be taking a look at the usual website, trailer, uh, white paper, so you can get an informed decision of whether it's something that you want to invest in. Today's video is sponsored, so it'll be watched to earn content as always. Uh, go into the comment section, post anything for that, and then go to the description, find the Discord link to our server, go into the competition wallet section and post your wallet address and YouTube name to be entered. Right, we'll be giving away $300, so that's going to be $60 to five people who will be picked in the next 48 hours. Right, so let's get into today's episode. Cyber City has a cyberpunk theme to it. It's got its Genesis NFT drop live at the moment, bringing in a new era of play to earn NFT game. Right, let's take a look at the trailer. Cyber City, a new era of play to earn. NFT game is already here. Open economy and tradable assets. They're setting it in a cyberpunk dystopia in a mega city in partnership with some of the best DeFi projects and more coming soon. Changing play to earn gaming with farming, participating, forge, developing, and fighting. We're going to have fantastic characters, which I really like the design of. We've already got some concepts here, Tech Priest, but there's more that we're going to take a look at in a minute. Engaging gameplay, it's going to be community focused with a sustainable tokenomics and growth model. 10,000 NFT characters will be available on launch. 10 different character types, 10 different deadly weapons, 10 loyal companions for each of them, and 10 epic plans. Fight, survive, and triumph in the Cyber City. Become part of the Play to Earn Game Future. CyberCity.com. So I'll post all the links to this in the description below for you to check out. Now let's go into a little bit more detail on the website. So it's going to have tokenized assets and NFC characters set in the future, futuristic endless megapolis. Uh, the Genesis is live, so I'm going to be picking up my first character today. You can pick um, different clans straight from the off. So they're going to have three different boxes available at launch. So we've got small box, which will have one epic character, one deadly weapon, and one loyal companion with one city block. So buying one small box is it gives you all that you can need to play this game. The medium and giga box just gives you more. Um, so more epic characters, more deadly weapons, going ranging from one to three to five with the giga box. It's going to be set in a not so distant future cyber city. It dominates the planet and corporations run the world. These corporations control all the wealth and resources, leaving the inhabitants of the city in dire existence. Cyber city streets are ugly, cruel and dangerous. A perfect environment for the strongest and most cunning to claw their way to the top. So you'll be able to farm resources to build up your strength, forge strong communities to fight together. This is not going to be a solo gameplay. You're going to have a clan that you're working together. You're going to be fighting for domination of the Chthonic Megapolis. And we have participation in underground companion races to earn some extra resources. And you can develop your city block to get access to the upgrades. So in the boxes, you will get a weapon, a character, a companion, as well as a city block. And they've got all 10 characters out available now. So we've got Hage, the Laptome, Cyber Spirit, Tech Staff is the weapon for Tech Priest, Tech Octopus. We've got Vampire, which will have a sword and pistol and a cyber bat. You've got Street Fighter with Power Gauntlets, Stray Cat, Shapeshifters with Nyanko and the Cyber Rod Power Gauntlets. And we have uh, the Mercenaries, which will have Iapetus and Heavy Assault Rifle. We've got Buccaneers, which will have a Clockwork Parrot and a Gauss Musket. A Paladin, which will have a Power Sword and War Shield and Mech Angel. That sounds sick. And scavengers, which will have multi-purpose rifle staff and multi-purpose drone companion. So all the characters have a lot of a lot of detail and a lot of variety to them for sure. Uh, I think that you can all tell that they're of the same theme. Now we've got city blocks as well. Each city block is an NFT and it's a territory with fixed coordinates within Cyber City. So city blocks passively farm CYBR cyber token and city blocks can be attacked and defended by players using their characters. They users use this player's home base and can be used to upgrade and develop new buildings as well. So this is kind of the theme of what they'll go for with the city blocks, what these will look like, which look really, really cool as well. So just as you can tell as much detail has been put into these blocks as, as there has been put into the characters. Clan drop schedule is, is as below. So there's 10 clans uh, planned and 
as we can see, we've, we've only got three available at the moment, but these will be launched in the future. So I'm going to join the Liquidity clan because I already have an account with them. And here we see we can choose from the Cyber City with 10 uh, of everything. Cyber City, Liquidity, Medium Box or the Small Box. So I'm going to pick up a Small Box, which is going to cost me about $550. And so pick up one copy. We can see there is a limited amount, 431 available. And click Confirm. Congratulations, you've bought the NFT. It will appear in your items soon. The process may take 30 minutes. Okay, so we will be able to see it show up somewhere around here alongside my drunk robots. So to get an understanding of when we'll be able to open a box, we need to look at the roadmap. October 2021, NFT boxes were dropped by 10 clans. November 2021st, boxes opening. So we'll actually be able to open them and receive our characters, weapons, companion cities, and in-game resources in November. January 2022, that's when they're going to have the underground companion races launch. Players will be able to use the companions to race, stake and earn in the underground companion circus. And then April 2022, that is when they'll have the launch of the game. So it is going to be a long hold. Um, it's not going to be something that's coming in, in the next month for you to be able to play. But they're going to have this companion race to keep you tied over, have something to do until the full game launches. You can keep up to date with the project by following their Medium page, their Discord and Twitter, uh, which again will be in links and will be in the description below for you to check them out. And then finally, let's check out their white paper, which gives a little bit more detail what, what we can expect from this game. So it's going to be a new economy, open economy with play to earn game mechanics. They're going to have tradable NFT assets aimed at delivering high quality gaming experience with sustainable tokenomics. Cybercity is a product and partnership between professional game development studio and Allium Multi chain DeFi and NFT ecosystem. Core features will be to have engaging gameplay developed by professional game development studio, sustainable tokenomic model for C Cyber, which is going to be their token with staking, farming and burning features, play to earn mechanics to target a broader audience, uh, NFT tradable assets, characters, land and gear. They're going to have marketplace for that. Multiple platforms using smartphones, tablets, browsers and PC, not just on one. Strong partnerships with 10 projects, experienced marketing team led by ex-head marketing of Zedrun. Now they're going to have an open economy with 10,000 NFTs in total, in-game resources that will be tradable outside the game, ALM, which will be the core game currency tradable on Allium Finance and PancakeSwap, characters land and gear in secondary NFT market. They're going to have a clan system. So 10 clans represented by real-life crypto enterprises. Among our partnerships include Polygon, Blindboxes, NFTB and Liquidity. Numerous opportunities for in-game advertising. And the release date is April 2022, as we saw before. There's a team of five behind this project. We have co-founders Alexander Kentz, who is experienced in blockchain and IT. We have Vladimir Nikitin, who is an experienced crypto startup builder. In business development, they have Denis Denisov. Um, Chief Executive Office with MA in Politics and International Relations, as well as experience in crypto. In IT, Pavel Bola, who will be their Senior Solidity Developer. And Creative, they have Andrew Nesterenko, who is behind the product design. Tokenomics work as follows. So they aim to build sustainable tokenomics with a growth model, uh, inbuilt balance mechanisms, random in-game events and gameplay changes, and controlled in-game events for economic balance. They're going to have two currencies, so it's dual tokenomics with ALM as the core currency already on the market at the moment, central currency in Allium Finance ecosystem, and also Cyber, um, which will be the game resource token, emission by ALM staking, earn in-game activity and earn land, earning land. Uh, you've got burns when spent in-game and 97% spent on ALM. Only 3% is pre-minted. The Cyber structure will work as follows. There'll be 300 million um, token supply only 30 million will be pre-minted. Cyber is earned by staking ALM, burnt when spent in game, and 5% of each DEX transaction is divided into 2.5% for reward for landowners and 2.5% to burn. And we'll work as follows. We've got land, which will be the in-game land pieces, tradable NFT assets. Owning a land provides you with passive cyber income and a key strategic points to fight over resources as well. 10,000 NFT pieces will be available at launch with four different types of land. I think the fact that this game has made so many reputable partnerships between Polygon, Liquidity, Paid, names that I've come into contact with before, it just adds to that layer of, you know, 
authenticity to it that these guys have made seen enough potential in it to form official partnerships with them. So let's take a little bit more of a look into the game itself. So it is going to be set in a not so distant future, cyberpunk theme, cyber city dominates the planet and corporations run the world. This is kind of their concept for it that there will be an urban hell of the mega city, which will be a new physical reality. But there's also a digital reality, an unregulated widespread access to the world where we've created a new plane of existence, which is a mix of the physical and digital existence of humans. One dire, ugly and scarce resources, another with infinite possibility and unimaginable freedom. The gameplay will be a mix of RPG strategy and turn-based combat with some cool minigame mechanics, control and fight for territories to farm resources, fight in the arena, race and wager in companion races, trade in and outside the game, form bands, guild and alliances to dominate the land, and forge epic relics and gear. Build and develop from your land. The characters and companions which we've been through, there's 10 different ones with different companions, weapons, and uh, will be parts of different clans. I think it'll be really interesting to see how the, the city blocks mechanic will work in terms of actually attacking and defending by using your characters to be able to take other people's, you know, important land to farm more resources and work together with your team as well to take them. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. The Genesis Wave 1 is available now. You can go and buy a small, medium or giga box. Small boxes are going to be... I, you know, I think it's a very, it's not a low entry price, but you're not just going to lose your value as soon as you buy the box. These are going to be sellable on secondary markets and it's going to be played to earn. So you're going to see some return of investment through that. A Gigabox is really going to be more favorable if you want to pick a, I want to get a, a certain character, certain companion. Um, but I really like the fact that, you know, with a small box, it gives you everything that you need to, to get involved in this game. Okay, check that out in some of the links in the description below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video as a little kind of sneak peek preview into it. I think it's an investment. We're investing into a game and I'm excited to see what actually they produce and how it's going to work in the future. Okay, that's all for this one. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That is all from me. See you guys soon.